<laughs> hey guys, and welcome to Sports Hub with the Science Junkies, Greg and Hugh. We're here to give you an insight into our world and uncover all the science and tech that makes these sports so awesome. Oh, are you done? Oh, come on! Today we've got a crossover, dribble, shoot an alley-oop and take to the court in one of my favourite sports. Basketball. So you can be all flashy with your fancy footwork, but what really matters in basketball is getting the ball down the court and through the hoop. So how do you nail a perfect shot? Uh, okay, I'll try. Go on then, Greg. I'm gonna take a shot from the three-point line. If it goes in from here, it's worth three points. If I was inside this semicircle, it'd be worth two points. So, a three-pointer. Close. That was close. <laughs> right, first things first. You need to have two hands on the ball, one hand underneath and one hand to the side. This hand, all the power is going to come through. It's the shoot in hand, okay? And you go one off hand, and this is going to line that. Two hands, one underneath, one on the side. Bang. Right, in. so he rotates his shoulders, pushes his elbow out, and flicks his hand. His hand flicks back, and that puts a backspin on the ball. Do I see it then? Yeah, all right, let's see it then. Let's give it a go. Here we go, no pressure. Yeah, that's it. All right, so the backspin that he put on the ball, when it hits the backboard, the ball slows down. If there wasn't any backspin on it, it would probably just bounce straight off the backboard. Like yours? Yeah. <laughs> so let's look at what happens after the ball leaves my hand. The ball takes a predictable path through the air. In fact, throw anything through the air and it will take the same shaped path, a parabola. So why does a projectile take this arc shape? When you release the ball, it's got a speed in a particular direction. We say it has a velocity. That velocity is made up of a vertical component and a horizontal component. As the ball flies through the air, gravity is accelerating it back down to the ground. But gravity only acts vertically, so it reduces its vertical velocity until eventually, right at the top of the arc, gravity wins the battle. The ball stops moving up and starts accelerating back down. The horizontal component doesn't change because gravity has no effect in that direction. This combination of vectors produces a classic parabolic path. Based on Hugh's height, we can work out the angle and the speed that he needs to throw the ball to get it in every time. Which, by the way, is 51 degrees and 19 miles an hour. Yeah, thanks for that. But the problem is I can't tell my muscles exactly how much power to put into the ball and I can't tell my eyes exactly the angle we want to judge it, so it doesn't work every single time. Or many times. Yeah, yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> but I'm sure there are pointers where we can improve our technique to get that ball in the hoop more times. Let's go ask a pro. Oh, this is Andy. He's the Welsh national under-18s coach, and he's been nailing three pointers for 20 years. Two decades of yeah. playing basketball, you must really love it. Yeah, I just enjoy the, the pace of the game, the excitement it brings, and how much fun anyone at any level can have. Okay, so we need some top tips on up in our game, nailing those three pointers. What can you give us? For me, I think there's three important factors. Number one, you start with your feet. Make sure they're square to the basket, and you're bending your knees. That creates power and elevation in your shooting. Number two, when the ball is in your hand, your thumb should be in line with your eye because that has angles. Yep. The third and final factor is that if you want to gain height and rotation and arc, you need to finish with your elbow above your eye. So knees, yep. thumb, elbow. elbow. Yep. So those are three top tips for getting those three pointers in. I think we should give it a try. All we've got to do is do them. Yeah? All right, cool. All right, nice one, Andy. Let's try it. <laughs> What's really important with all sports, and especially basketball because of that three-pointer, is practice. The more you do something, the easier it is next time. 
Yeah, that's exactly what muscle memory is. Every time I take that shot, electrical signals are running through the neurons in my brain, down the nerves in my arms, through my body, into the muscles to get them to contract and expand to make that movement that gives you that nice shot. And after lots of practice, that neural pathway in the brain becomes hardwired. Eventually, you'll be working out distance, angle and speed without even realising you're doing it. And we'll move from see, think, do to just see, do. Once it's hardwired, it becomes a lot more effective and becomes quicker and easier as well. But you've got to make sure that you've got your technique nailed because otherwise you're going to be hardwiring bad technique and it's going to be really hard to improve it in the future. So it's not practice makes perfect, it's more perfect practice makes perfect. We've got a lot of perfect practice to do. Very true. All right, let's, let's do it. When you're getting close to the net, the best shot is the layup. Grab the ball, step, step, jump. And the place to aim is right in the corner of the inside square. It will rebound perfectly. Just like that. So what about a slam dunk? Greg got some great height with our layup, but how do the pros seem to defy gravity and fly through the air? Their laws of physics are exactly the same as ours, but the way they get that height is a combination of power and a neat little trick. How high you jump depends on how hard you push off the floor. That's Newton's third law. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So that's down to strong muscles kicking you off the floor. And the long hang time is because at the top of the jump, they throw out their arms and lift up their knees. That gives the illusion that they've jumped higher and that their hang time is really long. Basketball is a great team sport and loads of fun. It's a fantastic workout, there's loads of science involved. Once you start thinking about parabolas, layup angles and jumping, you can really up your game. <laughs> so head out and explore the science of your favourite sport and come join the Science Junkies next time on the Sports Lab.